What's going on everyone? Dougie here from the Golf Clan. Just excited to be back here with another video. We're gonna change things up today as we like to do here on the channel. I'm at Cross Creek, okay? It's a par three only course in Atlanta. It's got a great location. It's very convenient and close to where I stay, close to the city. And we're out here and there's not a lot of people here. It's ideal conditions for taking our time, setting up the camera, getting great shots, and really just enjoying this course. It's walking only. I'm out here. I'm gonna work on my wedge game here a little bit. Might throw some different ideas in here. We'll see how it goes. Just from first glance here, the greens are tiny. Like the greens are really, really small here, which means that to hit the green, you pretty much have to, like if you hit the green, you're automatically with inside maybe 15 feet from the pin, depending on where the pin is. So it's a great for target practice. It's a great chance to kind of work on inside 125 yard shots. And we're gonna jump right here into the video. So Cross Creek here, par three only. Let's get into it. We just hit the green there. Couldn't be any more thrilled here. Uh, no excuses, but I haven't been playing a lot. You know, I've been taking some time off a little bit. Uh, started back in the gym, you know, my, my biceps, my triceps are just feeling all like pumped up and achy and tight. So, you know, I didn't know that that was gonna be a good shot. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, I, I didn't know whether or not I still had it. And uh, we made good contact with the sand wedge and 120 yards, put it on the green. Like I said, hitting the green means probably inside 15 feet. So that's a damn good golf shot here on this cool, you know, autumn brisk day here. Couldn't be any more thrilled. Uh, that's a great start here at Cross Creek. Here's where we ended up. All in all, not bad to be exactly pin high here. Just, you know, pushed it about 15 feet. So we got a nice little opportunity down here. I will elect to putt this ball there's not a lot of fringe going on. It's not too rough and gnarly. It's kind of straightforward. There's a par on number one. So in typical Peter Piper fashion, I just blasted that first putt past the hole. Didn't want to leave it short. Didn't want to start off this video lagging up a putt and tapping it for par. So we just ran it on by, you know, I just wanted to test myself with that five foot comebacker and we made it. So starting off with a par on number one, let's head to number two. You know, there's only one way to cross bridges here. We're putting the hands up all the way across. We are here on hole number two. We have about 95 yards. We're just gonna poocheroo a 60 degree up there. See if we can straighten out our alignment. Hopefully we'll be putting. You know, that just might have knocked the camera down. That's how bad that shot was. Pardon me, I'm slightly out of breath. We were going for the Poocheroo. We got something totally different. Not what we drew up here. As you can see, there's the green. We flew it. We are sitting back here up on the road near the condos. This is gonna test our short game for sure. That's why you come out here though. On number two, as you saw there, we were just grinding to try to get out of there with a bogey. 
Not our best pitch shot two times in a row, but again, made a five footer. Five footers can really keep the round going. So moving on to number three now, with a little bit of momentum from that putt. There's my ball. I misjudged the distance quite badly. Hit the ball pure, but I came up about 10 yards short of the green. As you can see from that, I just wanted to make another five to seven foot putt, obviously here to try to get out with a par. So folks, there, as you can see, we ended with another bogey, wanted to roll in a, another six-ish footer to save our bogey, or excuse me, to save our par. Didn't happen, so three holes are done now. And just to kind of conclude this video, wrap up my thoughts, I didn't want to bring this up. I'm not one to usually complain, but the lower back is feeling a little bit tight. I woke up this morning. I don't know if it's the gym that I've been hitting lately kind of sitting in the office chair but I was trying to kind of get loose this morning never really quite felt right and uh, maybe that can explain why I pushed some balls you know my, my touch and my short game kind of in that crouch position just didn't feel natural so never really got rolling there but again I, I don't like to kind of bring out different excuses uh, this morning I also breakfast just wasn't as planned there um, Captain Crunch only had half of a bowl ran out at the bottom and got some crumbs I usually like the crumb dust at the bottom, but I don't know. My stomach is not quite feeling great there. So again, just all these factors might kind of explain why we went two over par in three holes. I'm not quite sure. But if you enjoyed this video, I just want to thank you for stopping by the channel. Love to bring you new content all the time. And this is my first time checking out Cross Creek. Just enjoyed this walking experience. It's in a condominium community here. There's a lot of landscaping going on. There's bridges, just a lot of fun. It's a short walking course only. And I just like being out in nature and working on my inside 120 yard shots, trying to, trying to zone in those distances. So I will certainly be back. I wanna thank Cross Creek for having me out here. What is going on everyone? Just here reporting after playing a little bit of golf at Cross Creek. You know me, I'm not one to complain. I'm kind of a straight laced guy. I do things by the book. I don't ever like to have fun. I don't ever embarrass myself. And I'm also not one to make complaints. But something about this morning was a little bit different. I just woke up feeling a little bit tight in my back here, kind of tried to play through it. As you know, golf is a physically grueling sport. A lot of contact between the club and the ground. And the back just started flaring up a little bit. So not my best performance out here this morning, but we are grinding our way through and I'm gonna go and ice my back a little bit, maybe take the day off, kind of just lay low, recover for another tough day tomorrow. This is the golf plan, tuning out. Make sure to restock on your Captain Crunch. Don't let it happen to you like it happened to me. See you next time.